All right, morning, morning. It is 6.50, which is pretty late for us getting out of camp. Um, we're trying to do today as our town day in Grand Rapids, about 30 miles away. Um, but there was something fun that happened last night. So we got to camp and I was gonna wait till it was light to tell the story, but I think, baby, how's the view? Can they see my face? Yeah. All right, so, um, yeah. So we got to camp last night after doing a 35 somewhere in there. Um, in the last two, three miles, my body had been talking to me saying like, hey, um, it's kind of time to stop or at least take a break. Because I don't think we took a break for the last 20 miles, which again, usually it's not that big of a deal, but some perfect storm hit me. By the time we got to camp, setting up the uh, tent, I was almost passing out. So then we got finally got into the tent and I just got racked with like freezing cold. And it's not that cold. It was like my body was freaking out. Um, it kept trying to pass out on me. Like my eyes hurt too much to stay open. Um, I was just, pain was shooting through like my entire body. Um, the thought of food made me nauseous and it was just full struggle bus. Um, I haven't had something like that happen to that degree in a long time. Um, I think it was dehydration, not eating food um, yesterday, overexertion. But I remember checking the clock thinking it was like 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. this morning last night and it was like 10 30 um, because it felt like a lifetime we got to camp at like 9 and 9 to 10 30 well I think we got to camp at 8 8 to 9 was just fuzzy like don't remember it fever dream then 9 to 10 30 was just a world of pain um, yeah I don't know what that was I mean I think I do but I woke up just in a cold sweat, just pouring out sweat. It was rough, folks. It was rough, so slept in a little bit today, um, even though we want to get to town. Whew. So what I'm trying to say is morning, morning. It is um, October 8th, and we're pushing our way into town. That's a pretty um. That is a pretty um. Alright, so the trail brings you right through the little town of Nashwalk. Um, pretty cute little town. Um, it's a few miles outside of what is the name of it? Um, Quinoa. We passed through it last night. Quinoa. Sorry, my body's still, body and mind is still recovering. Oh, there's a Mexican joint. Oh, so much goodness. Um, yeah, you can get stuff here. It's not as small of a town as Buell or some of those other ones that broke our hearts. Um, laundromat and the trail brings you like right through the downtown. So you can uh, rely on this for at least a little resupply corner store um, or other things. Cool, cool. Uh-oh, I think Magpie was pointing at that. I saw her point at something ahead of me. Oh, folks. We're treading dangerous waters here now, huh? All right, this is what I perceived all the small towns that we would pass on the Misabi Trail to be, but they are not. Nashua is a cool town, though. Nashua. Nashua. Magpie has made me completely asexual now. You used the um, restroom after I did. I used the restroom after she did, and wow. I ate a lot I don't even know how to process this. Like I still, it's still in my nostrils. It's so. Yeah, you know how I feel when you're farting all night in the tent. It's so bad. My eyes are watering. It hurts. Yeah, it's all those red onions. I it hurts so bad. Whew. All right. Well, we're officially sub thirty to Grand Rapids. I think we're going to end up getting in there late today. Yeah. Oh, bummer. That was true. 23 miles. I know. I think it might be 23 miles. I don't 
So what's it with the gas stations being everywhere when we don't need them? But then the one day we need them, they're nowhere. I'm gonna get out some food here. Um, for conduct within the corridor. Conducting the corridor was my nickname in high school. Don't know what that means, but it's okay. I know. Baby, do you wanna ride the dinosaur? Guess what? That was my nickname in high school. Ride the dinosaur. Baby, how do you feel about that? Well, it could be good, it could be bad, it could be in between. All right, Adventuring with Cinnamon Part 20. And then she said, yas, queen. And she was like, my nails be something fierce. Why are you doing this one again? Uh, what one again? Your drag persona. No, baby. Baby's adventuring with cinnamon. No, your drag persona. No. Um, oh, I finally caught up to her. So I could do the Mickey Mouse today too. I had a clip of yesterday when I was just doing Mickey Mouse humming to myself. Alright, so the trail walks you right through the town of Kalamut, C-A-L-U-M-E-T. Um, I wouldn't expect any services here. This feels kind of like the town of Buell, B-U-H-L, that we walked through previously. Um, there might be a gas station on the outskirts, but where the trail puts you through, I have not seen anything yet. So, we walk right through it. Again, this is the town of Kalamut. Um, cute little communities they have through here. Really cute park on the edge of town. Really cute park. Right by the sign. Watch out! Caution! <laughs> okay. Big caution sign. Wow. This is a sinkhole. Get me more sinkholes. This is pretty. Very pretty. Pretty. <laughs> All right. So it's about noon. Um, a little bit after right now, exact time's like 12.08. Um, and we've done a little over 15 miles, somewhere in 15 to 16 range. So if we hiked all the way into town, end up getting there at five, um, that's our ultimate goal. I'm kind of hoping that there might be an option to get a taxi or Uber. Um, we passed through two more towns, um, and one of the towns would put us at like trail miles of 20 to 21 for the day and if we could take an uber and taxi in from there um we ended up getting into town at two and getting into town at two is a giant difference than getting in at five um because by the time you do all your chores and start do all your like physical chores and start working your internet chores it's like six or seven if you get in there at five so I don't know, we'll see what we're gonna do. Um, even if we do 21 miles today and get a taxi in, and then tomorrow morning we would get a taxi back out to the same spot, so our little 
step, step, steps are connected. Um, we would still average over 30 miles for the past four days. So we'll see what we do. Um, either one is not bad. The option of walking into town just gets us there late. Um, wouldn't feel really feel like a rest day. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. I lost the magpie because I had to pull over, handle some business, if you know what I mean. Um, found myself a nice, well, you don't find the hole. You got to dig the hole. But um, dug myself a nice hole. You know we're keeping that bad 100%, baby. 100%. All right, let me go places. Yeah, if we can make it to Bovie, that would be nice. Um, yeah. Oh, wow, really pretty. Oh, Fluffy, I found, I found a magpie, a Fluffy, and a trail sign. That Fluffy is pretty friendly, it just barks. Uh oh. Alright, I think this is the outskirts of the town of Bovie. Um, so we'll see where the trail brings us around here. That's a big finger. Yep. Alright, so I think we did 21, um, 20 or 21, somewhere in there. We are getting a ride. Ooh, that was a zoom in, not a zoom out. Ooh, I'm lightheaded. Um, that's Bob's Country Market. We're getting a ride from there. Um, in the town of Bovi, there's a big hand. So this is, I don't think it's gonna be hard to be able to figure out where we gotta connect our steps tomorrow. Um, unless they move the big hand, then I'll be upset. Um, I'm really hoping they don't move the big hand. Um, or we could just look at that gate. We have not crossed through that gate yet. So we actually have to start, start again at the big hand. But get in a ride at Bob's Country Market into Grand Rapids because we have about nine more miles. Um, we would get in there at like five. I explained some of this earlier today. Don't really want to. Magpie wants to. I don't yeah, really want to. to hike nine more miles, but I feel like it's a waste of a town day when we're about to hit a seven day section. But I don't know. That's that's what it's about. So it's like but right before two o'clock, we'll get into town two thirty ish maybe. Somewhere in there. Alright, Bob's Country Market, here we go. Alright guys, so we are in town. Um, I'll give you the full run of the spiel of getting to town in a second. But I want to show you what hikers do as soon as they get to town. We barely got to the hotel. We checked in, threw our packs down. And as soon as we did, we ran out to the holiday. Got some drinks, some sugar. Their cookies are on par. Well, the cookies are baller. And then we went hard in the paint with some tea bell. bag of Diablo sauce. Yeah, baby. Talk dirty to me. Um, we went hard in the paint with tea bell. We got a party box. We got some extra burritos. We got some extra chalupas. You know how we do with that T-Bell life? So, yeah, we're at Hotel Rapids. Um, we ended up calling it. I talked about that already at Bob's. Um, 21 miles today, somewhere in there. So for the past four days, we're still averaging above a 30. So They just chucked uh, in giant handfuls of the sauce. They yeah, did they did. They didn't pay attention to how many we said we wanted, which yeah, is fun. Did. But there's more tacos and burritos on the end there. Oh, okay, I gotta stop filming and start eating. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good life. life.